Hello everyone, we're going to take you to have a look at a, a brand new pool villa uh, in the Valley One complex. This one is priced at 4.95 million baht, the details are on the screen there. And we'll also show you the uh, project website and the contact details in the description. And here's Whitey, the famous Whitey, the project dog. So anyway, here we go. Um, place is fully fenced, front, side and back. Nice entryway here. That square box or rectangular box you see on the right side there, that's the trash. You put your trash in there. So, photo, uh, some video of the outside now. This little building here on the right side is a pool house and it's also got a storage shed in there. So the storage shed is good to have. The left side was a pool, uh, the pool shed. So there's a uh, carport there. You get two small cars in or one big car. And that's the storage shed. So there's a fair bit of uh, room in there. Good to have something like that. And there's the pool filter. And here's the pool. About, I think it's about 1.2 meters deep. There's a pool shower there. Really nice pool and the landscaping that you see as we move around is all included in the price as well. All the plants along the side there, there's grass out the backyard. And uh, this is a nice little area here, this uh, outdoor area, you can make something nice with that. Put uh, an umbrella up perhaps and uh, out some outdoor furniture. And there's the uh, deck. And there's your backyard. The house is situated on uh, probably the centre of the block. So the backyard and the front yard are about the same size. Water storage tank and pump there. Uh, mosquito screens are not included in the price. If you want those, you'd have to add them extra. Nice tidy down the side there. You can put your pot plants in or whatever you would like to do. So inside the house now, this is the living area, the main living area and, and kitchen. So it's a standard Thai kitchen with a gas cooktop and a range hood. And some cupboard space on the walls there gooseneck type uh, kitchen faucet and the living area now the dining table I like this style of dining table a bench and two two separate seats so this house uh, is three bedroom two bathroom it's tiled throughout there's curtains throughout. Everything that you see, all the furniture, all the pictures on the wall, etc., are all included in the price. We just duck out now for a quick look at the front yard. It's also some nice decorative outdoor lighting. Well lit all around the place. There's an electric gate, automatic electric gate. Well, you've got to press a button to open it and to close it and it has a, uh, a safety feature on it so no one can get caught in the gate when it's closing just entering through the front door now and that's a good view of the living area and you can see the outdoor area that I mentioned earlier on. Just outside the side door there. So you probably make that your main front entry, that particular door there, because your car was parked out there. 
some light fittings there, vaulted ceilings with LED downlights all through the house. Another hanging lamp there. Another view of the Thai kitchen. I should say Thai style kitchen. Very good actually. There's a main bedroom now. Curtains, blinds on all the windows. Plenty of power points. You can mount your TV up there if you wish. Entry to the pool also from the main bedroom, which is uh, handy. You will notice as we're moving through this house that there are no wardrobes in the house. Now this is quite a common thing in Thai homes. So what people do is they go and buy uh, the wardrobes that they like from a lo local uh, furniture retailer. Someone like uh, Index or uh, perhaps Big Kiang. And uh, the, those people will bring them out to the house and install them for you. They'll put them together, just like flat pack stuff. They'll put them together. You can get it from wherever you want, but uh, they're the most two common retailers in this part of Thailand anyway. You can get them from Ikea. Ikea will deliver to this area. You can, of course, hire a cabinet maker and he can build some uh, wardrobes for you but very it's quite expensive and the wardrobes that you buy here from a retailer are quite good quite good and they'll do the job but you might like uh, custom built ones and that's perfectly okay you can get that done nice tall ceilings this is bedroom number two by the way Nice window out to the backyard there. Tiles throughout the house. And the uh, second bathroom. We'll get a good look through that now. You'll notice that there's hot water in the showers, but there's no hot water in any of the sinks, including the kitchen sink. You can have that installed if you wish. You can either get yourself a uh, external hot water storage tank, or you can have an instant hot water service underneath each, uh, each sink. Or you can do what we do is uh, just don't worry about it and just use the cold water because it's so hot here all year round. But there is hot water in all the showers or in the two showers. So we're heading into the third bedroom now. Again, similar to the other ones, the, uh, there's blinds in, in this uh, room this bedroom. Plenty of power points to put your uh, TV up there if you wish. Nice view from the bedroom out to the front yard. That spot there you could put your um, uh, fridge, put your fridge in there. And out here in this area is where you put your washing machine. Maybe you want a dishwasher as well, a clothes dryer, those uh, three main items can fit in there. That's the wastewater drainage pipe there, so your washing machine and dishwasher will connect up to that. But if you want to put something in, you, you probably have to 
uh, in addition to a washing machine I mean you probably have to get a plumber in to put some additional piping in This is a uh, plan of the, uh, the whole project actually, all the lots on there. So uh, we're looking at number seven that Linda's pointing out there now. So four, five and six are sold. Um, number three is being constructed at the moment as is number eight and nine, they're under construction and they are available for sale. But this is the only one in the project that's fully completed 100% completed and ready for sale. Now if you need to know some more technical dif uh, information like uh, perhaps the size of the land or the living area of the home, please contact the developer. I'll provide the contact information in the description. Please contact them and uh, they'll give you the full information, any information that you're looking for. This house is called is number AP7. So if you're interested in this one, you can just tell them you're interested in house AP7. And that will help them find the information that you need. the view of that dining table okay so this is one of the hanging light light fittings there's another one there Now of course you can buy this house to live in for yourself all the time. Uh, you can buy it as a holiday home if you like. Uh, it's unattended most of the year and you uh, come and stay here when you come to Thailand, whatever you like. It's perfect, it's whatever you want to do is perfectly okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope uh, it's helped someone. And thank you for watching. We will be doing more of these house hunting videos or house appraisal videos and we really appreciate every subscriber and every comment we receive thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video